Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Asari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to compare uh, uh, two string uh, variables uh, using uh, uh, the dou equals to operator and uh, equals to uh, method or equals method. Okay. So first we will use uh, the equals operator. So we will look into what is uh, the drawback. Uh, what are what is the drawback of using a uh, uh, equals operator for comparing uh, the two strings okay and then we will uh, look back to the uh, equals method uh, which is uh, built in to the uh, string uh, objects okay to used mainly for uh, comparing the uh, strings okay so equals uh, method okay since i'm saying method when we need to add the spaces here so equals method here okay so First, we need to uh, take uh, two uh, strings. Okay, so using the uh, string class, uh, we'll just we'll create a two variables here. Okay, so first one is s1 is equal to new string. So let's take a string a value literal also here. Okay, let's say children gv. Okay, close. Okay, so let's take another uh, string. String s2 is equal to new string. Again, let's take the same thing here, uh, Chiranjeevi. Just a string. Okay. So here we are. Uh, we have uh, uh, two strings here. So first and foremost, if we use the uh, if condition, let's use the if condition, if statement uh, to compare these two things using the equals to operator. So if S1, if we say S1 is equal to S2, so one would expect uh, that uh, the both the strings are equal and uh, if they are uh, compare if they are if it evaluates to a boolean uh, true so the we need to have a small i'm putting a small message inside the if condition here system dot uh, print ln system dot print ln let's say equals okay so equals so if that is not the case in the else part uh, let's say system dot out print ln system dot out dot print ln let's say not equal to okay so not equals okay so here we are uh, just we have taken just a two uh, if condition and if if and an else part for that so if you run the program that means uh, so i am using the that means id so if i just press f6 here it runs successfully if it successfully uh, compiles the code and uh, here the one would expect uh, the answer as equal to equals because uh, the both the strings are uh, equal here but unfortunately the answer we, which we have got here is uh, not equals because this is because the reason behind this is the equals when you are using equals operator okay to compare uh, two strings it does not compare the content which is stored inside the strings okay so it, it does not uh, look for the content here the content of our string is challenging but instead the equals operator looks for the reference okay so here uh, where this uh, string uh, object uh, s1 is referring here okay so the this is referring to a different memory location the s1 is referring to a memory location different memory location and s2 is referring to a different uh, memory location that's the reason this here uh, this uh, if statement evaluates to a false here okay so ultimately if it's evaluates to false the else condition gets executed here so so if you use the same uh, uh, strings uh, to uh, compare them using a equals method here that's what uh, that is what the actual solution for this uh, uh, strings uh, or actual good method to use uh, the equals uh, method to compare the two strings okay the same thing i am doing with uh, equals method here so if i say if s1 dot s1 dot equals okay so it's one dot equals of s2 so then ultimately if the content is same and this would evaluate to a true so then uh, we can have another uh, message in the if condition system dot out dot print ln <coughs> system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln let's say equals okay so if the content is not the same it will it would evaluate to a false to handle that case we are taking here else part here okay so in else part let's say system dot out dot print ln let's say not equals it's not equals okay so now if you run this uh, code a bit whatever we have added here until now 
so in this case compilation errors okay so I think it's had break in here somewhere system allowed to print ln oh, we have missed the semicolon in a hurry so f6 okay oh my goodness small small errors we have just missed to close to bracket here close the braces here okay okay so now if you run the code uh, okay so it successfully compiles and gives the uh, uh, message as equals here okay so since we have used the equals uh, method here so this is uh, going to give the exact expected result which is uh, equals here okay so that's the reason uh, it's getting executed correctly uh, in the previous case if you use this uh, equals to operator so that will not be executed uh, correctly as we are getting uh, the even though the strings are equal we are getting the we are getting the message as not equals here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, so how to compare uh, two strings using uh, equals to and uh, uh, equals equals method equals to operator and equals uh, method uh, so the best way to perform this operation is using the equals method here so the hope you like this tutorial so put your valuable feedback in the form of comments and uh, give a thumbs up if you like it uh, for sure <laughs> and see you in the next lesson goodbye